We are at the precipice of fundamentally changing the way human interactions are understood and harnessed. The future is here. The question is, will you be part of this awesome journey? Welcome. I'm Alex Redon, and I specialize in human-centered experience architecture, designing products, narratives, and perceptions that are informed by behavioral models. In other words, I'm part of a growing collective of professionals that design how people interact with their world. For over 20 years now, I've helped Fortune 500 brands and startups on multi-million dollar initiatives. Today, I'm happy to announce the launch of this podcast series with a hyper focus on revealing everything I know and exploring the defining aspects of designing and authoring human experiences, bringing you invaluable insights, tools, and techniques that you can apply as a professional in advancing within this field and even improving your personal day-to-day -day interactions. Since this is the introductory video to the series, I'd like to set expectations with you by highlighting four important points about the podcast. First is that I'd love for you to approach this podcast with the right mindset to gain more from it. We tend to think that we know ourselves pretty well and even the motives that drive the people around us, but we easily forget that our personality, that combination of characteristics and qualities that form our individual and distinctive character is simply a collection of learned habits and conditioned responses that we've picked up over time from our experiences. In this context, you should understand that you're not your habits, but your habits and responses will dictate your future unless you realize the truth of why they are there to begin with, and that is to protect you. Everything that you've done up to this moment has kept you alive in one way or another. So your subconscious has several cognitive biases pushing you to do the exact same things day in and day out. It's good to understand that this is vital for your well-being, but you must learn to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. It's the ultimate habit. In looser terms, our journey will be met with exciting yet philosophical and controversial topics around designing human interactions that naturally requires a deep mind to tease out and reveal fundamental truths along the way. Second, we'll talk about influence on a regular basis. So starting off by understanding that influence is by definition a human quality and tool for exchanging ideas is vital. See, the purpose of any interaction we have with others, and even with the products and services out in the world, is to facilitate and make available something that wasn't available to us prior to the interaction. This isn't new. This exchange of ideas happening when we interact is all too familiar. Whether it's learning, asking questions, telling a story, or just exploring ideas. It's human nature to passively influence one another in the process. And that is precisely why you and I are having this exchange of ideas. It's to help bring attention to an important aspect of our reality and realize that you are always the primary driver of your own experiences, which is highly based in human behavior. The reins of your world are only as strong as you realize them to be. And to further solidify this point, the idea here is not to be unreceptive to influence. That's psychopathic. It's actually about choosing who and what you allow to be influenced by. For example, a loving parent, a caring friend, or a genuine mentor are valid examples of instances we should be comfortable in being influenced. Otherwise, we lose the ability to learn and grow altogether. Third, I'd like to point out that the format of this podcast will be presented in three distinct styles. A conversational, peer-to-peer -peer format 
with guest subject matter experts sharing their insights. A research-led format where we dive into studies and findings with the goal of simplifying them and providing the much needed clarity on how we could apply them in practical situations for both business and personal as it allows, and a conceptual format where we look into new advances and insights relating to this field and then explore their possible future applications on human interactions regarding business and society, giving us a glimpse of the possibilities in the short term and long term for them. Now, in regards to pinning down the topics, the majority of our discussions will primarily revolve around concepts relating to the designing of human experiences. So we'll often refer to subjects such as behavioral design, human-centered user experience, behavioral economics, and other relating subjects, always with the goal of anchoring our approaches and insights in a scientifically backed and evidence-based manner, giving you a more technical grasp, yet We'll keep it simple enough on here for everyone to understand. The fourth and final point I'd like to share about this podcast is that I've come to understand one core truth within this field. And that is that when you're designing for humans, it requires you to become more human. Being human is about connection, authentic connections. And given this fact, you should know that you are as an intrinsic part of this journey as I am. Your comments, constructive criticism, and ideas will help drive the future of our discussions. If you haven't engaged before in voicing your ideas on other podcasts or online in general, I encourage you to start here because I'll listen. This isn't just a podcast but a way of saying hello and exchanging ideas about designing our world together in a humane and ethical capacity. As I mentioned in the beginning, humanity is at the precipice of fundamentally changing the way human interactions are understood and harnessed. In the past, our interactions were primarily unintentional, but the future is becoming more and more intentional by design. And by exploring together and understanding the fundamentals of designing for the human experience, we rediscover how to be more human in the process and help also be the change needed. Nelson Mandela summed it up by saying, it always seems impossible until it's done. Let's begin.